Hello once again, peoples of the world, this is Argonian Sam, and we're going to be doing Fire Canyon and, Dak and Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Yeah, 34. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. It does do help. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the blue sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Okay, so what are the two? There's two power cells. I don't know what the second one is, but I know you get one just for beating this place. All right, let's let's get going. Get those balloons to cool off. Ow! Oh yeah, there's there's scout flies here too. There's scout flies, then there's orbs. All right, that'll heat me up real quick. Get some of that cool me down. Cool me down again. Cool me down. Oh, terrible mode. Okay, that's that's fine. Use the hot turn to steer harder. Mm. Success. Not really. That's called death. Okay, but it lets us keep stuff. So fire canyon. There's only 50, so I think there's only like two more boxes. So, at least I don't need to worry about that. I can focus more on steering into these balloons, killing these guys, because they do give you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of height. By a little bit, they do give you quite a bit of height. Because I had to clear that lava pit without doing making anything. Ah, no. Mm. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Scout fly box. Yay! 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 Power of yeet compels me. Alright, there's the scout flies. <laughs> nice. And that should be the last orb box, too. There we go. Fire Canyon is done and dusted. One tiny level. We didn't blow up once. Not at all. Alright, so let's go activate that teleporter in the Blue Sage's hut and see what's going on. Let's even get this hub world completed done. You know, I'm thinking that there's supposed to be a Blue Sage in here. Whoa! I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no, I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders. That's less than good. Oh, and it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're going to need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers and come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. Fine, fine. Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, well, let's go find... 
stuff to do. There's scout flies in this level. Eh, there's, there's, there's some, uh... I can break these two. Ah, that's the underground civilization. Got it. More underwater. Not underground. It's underwater. Water is different than ground. Okay. He's got a fly in a box. My favorite present. Until we find out why the blue sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him. Fair. Fair enough. For it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Well, I can buy more power cells from him. Just need 45, right? Alright, I can do 45. I already have 34, so... 36, so I, I need 9. Precursor Basin. Oh, I know what to do with this. faster. Unless I get stuck on terrain multiple times. Boulders are on fire. Now, mm, I know you can make that jump. So we're gonna try again. Mm, fine, I'm not gonna try it a third time. I thought about it, not gonna lie. Alrighty, so there's the only blue eco I can see. Wait, this is different than the other blue eco. Scuffle box though, so let's grab that. Nasty lurkers. Eh, <laughs> if you roll through it, you can start out with having more distance on the jump. Alright, there's only a few orbs here. Oh, there's a person here. Hi. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Alright. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. It's better than trading 120 to the statue. Although it doesn't matter because we're getting every single orb and every single power cell. We're going to have plenty. Hey, I could technically still buy an orb from the statue. Oracle, Oracle, free the scout flies. Okay, so, okay. The other power or cell so you get from her counts as the, uh, the base and as a power cell for that one. There's a dude right here. Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. 
Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue ego, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way? But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> all right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Well, we don't need to go over there yet. Uh, for a power song? Okay. Wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right. I'll fix the bridge. Don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. Don't worry, that's our job. That's how bridges work. That's absolutely how bridges work. Anyway, it gives us another power cell to do that, so... Okay, running out of orbs. Running out of orbs. So I can't buy any more... Precursor power cells from the peoples. If there are any more peoples, I should buy them from. Uh, but I can find the rest of the scalp flies. Like some of the ones that are floating around, some of the orbs. Ow! Who are you? Ah, oh, no, not another hero. I lost my short on this so called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me. The smart money's on the monster. That way you pretty much tabbed me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. You live in a barrel. I could beat you up and take all your stuff. But I'm not going to, because I'm the protagonist, and I don't do things like that because it's mean. Ugh. Hero stuff. Alright. Okay. Another orb. Yeah. I see with my little eye. Ah, shark trying to eat me. No. Okay. I see the last Skyfly box, I think. Yeah, it was the last Skyfly box. Yeah! Alright, this should be another level. Yeah, the swamp. We're not gonna go to the swamp for a while, because I don't like the swamp. We're gonna go to it eventually, just not right now. Of course. Yay! Yeet, yeet. Okay. We're good. We are good. I should be able to yeet over there. Yeah, there's rocks to prevent the shark from coming up to eat me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay, let's look at our totals. So we need Gambler. And the Oracle. But other than that, we have all the scout flies, and Rock Village is done. But since this would be a rather boring and short video if I just called it here, I'm gonna go do the Precursor Basin. Because the Precursor Basin is. Well, you do the entire level on the Zoomer, um, so it's a little bit shorter than uh, most of the levels because it's on the Zoomer. Whee!
Okay, so head our way in here. Let's see what we got. We got eight power cells, 200 orbs. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. Is this, is this a mole? What is this? this? This looks like a mole. That's one of those Okay. This looks like something I should absolutely be chasing, though. What? Okay. Okay, it's gonna zigzag around here. Am I supposed to kill it with the propellers of the uh, zoomer? I think maybe. Okay. I'm not really sure what that was, but I killed it. Let's line this up. Yeah, so it says there's 200 orbs, but, like, because most of them are in boxes like that, in, like, sets of 5 or 10, um, we're already at, like, 40. So, it shouldn't be that hard. No, no. Anyway. Okay, this is another thing I should be trying to catch, I'm assuming. No! Proceeds to explode. Alright. Trust me, those dark eco boxes are bad news! Okay, so I should be able to get two moles. I just need to get them back in their little burrows. Okay, that's another one in. I don't know if the ones from before reset when I died, but I suppose we'll find out rather quickly if they did or not. I think I see one, so that might be a yes. That would stink if they did, but that would make sense because they did die. Hi, buddy. You wanna go, you wanna go in your little home? You wanna go in your home? The okay, so that's that power cell taken care of. I overshot a few of those. That's my bad. What is that? What's that purple thing? I'm very curious. This has my full attention now. Is this a ring challenge? This is a ring challenge. Oh gosh. I forgot this game had ring challenges. I'm not good at ring challenges in games. I don't think... I don't think it's something a lot of people can lay stake to that they're good at ring challenges. I mean, there's probably a few people who are like, yeah, ring challenges are my jam. But like, definitely, definitely not me. Mm, especially not when that happens. Okay, where's the next one? Okay, it's this way. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Avoid the dark ego boxes! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not it's not like they're everywhere. Do I have to go back to where I started with the rings? Dark ego box. Oh gosh, that one's really far away. And sight yeet! Oh, jeez. I don't know if these are timed or not, so I don't know, like, if I should be careful. Oh, gosh. Well, timed or not, they're starting to be in more precarious places. Okay. Alright. Respectable. Not bad. Not bad. I assume there's gonna be another one just like it that's gonna be, like, super crazy hard in comparison later on, but... For the first one, that wasn't bad. Okay, let's... Let's chase this little demon, baby. It looks like it's wearing a diaper, the same reason I call it a demon baby. Okay. I was trying to be clever. Is that a cyan ring? I think I just saw another ring. Okay. Oh, this is... 
This is just wonderful. It's a wonderful little chase sequence thingy. Okay. This reminds me of uh, catching the egg thieves in the uh, the original Spyro game. Anyone else? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of games that do that, just remind me of Spyro particularly. Eh, there's another ring. Okay, there might be another ring challenge then. That would sting. What is this? What is... Oh. Oh, interesting. I'm supposed to touch all these toxic plants with green eco on. Oh, they come back. Seems I got a lawnmower this pretty, pretty effectively. Luckily, I can go and get a refill of green eco and get back before most of these come back. So I think I can win this via attrition. Especially because when I seem to attack it, it seems to slow down the regeneration of the rest of it. Mm, I don't need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. Okay. See, most of it's not back yet. Some of it's back, but not most of it. And it seems like it can only spawn next to the other ones, so I can kind of keep it localized. And here and here. Hey! And it spits out a power cell. That was kind of fun. Don't know why it rewarded me with a power cell. I mean, everything in this game rewards me with a power cell, but, like, I don't understand how this plant had one in it. You know? I was like, I can understand. Like, all the, all the puzzles and all the, like, minigames reward stuff. Fair enough, I suppose. Anyway. Okay, there's some more. There's another scout fly. We're getting there, we're getting there. Ow. Okay. Just... What? Why is he up there now? That wasn't part of the deal. Oh, he's down there again. I'm just gonna finish collecting what's up here, I guess, then. I know I missed those. I'm gonna go back and look for them later. I'm gonna try and make it up here, because I saw a power cell off of a jump. I'm not going to get that either. Okay. Go, going back to chase that one guy then. He's going to go down here. Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't know how many of those are left because I've already killed three of them. We're most of the way done with most of these, so beat record time, okay. Navigate the purple, yeah, okay. Investigate the blue precursor rings, free the scout flies. Uh, return to the geologist. I'm assuming defeat all the purple lurkers that are flying around is one of the things. Um, so there's that power cell. That's one of the ones that's not listed yet. Um, so let's go, let's go get that one. Let's go see what that's about. Okay, based on experimentation, you don't have to jump there. You just have to, like, do a, a controlled fall. Which, for anyone that doesn't know what that means, it means it's going to basically t do a small hop on its own whenever you go off a ramp. So depending on the size of the jump, you don't need to jump. This one, you're probably going to need to jump. 
There's also a good deal of aerial maneuverability, but I like because, you know, the vehicle has a propeller on it. It has, like, way, a way to pro propulse itself in midair. So I like that. Uh, we're not going to do the blue ring challenge yet. We're going to go scout out for any more purple boys real quick. Uh, we're also going to grab this. 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 Definitely that. Uh, we're just going to go real slow over this bridge. Real slow over this. Turn around. And try and get that more. And miss. Oh, there's one more purple dude. I see him. He juked me. He juked me. I'm faster than him, just outright. I'm gonna go back real quick to the green eco vent before I blow up. Because I would rather not have to do most of this again if anything resets upon me dying. Just, you know, just whoop, and all of a sudden I have stuff again. Yeah, lots of stuff. And definitely enough precursor orbs to uh, to buy both the statue ones. How many orbs? Oh, I'm missing two. I'm just missing two orbs. Oh my gosh. Just tells me that one of them is obviously that one. Obviously. I am. I am upset. That makes me upset. Good to know there's no orbs in the racetrack at least. I can, I can think that is a good thing. Yay! Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's real good. But I'm assuming the last one's just like a jump that I missed or something like that. And it's going to be a pain to look for. Okay, jump here. I can cut this real tight. Because I broke the box, but it also has the ability to double back. Ow! Yeah, that one hurt. That one hurt a lot. Okay. I don't know why it didn't turn around there. Normally they do, but... Oh well. Oh, thank goodness. I finally killed that one. Alright. Good flying! Those lurkers were no match for your zoomer. That's one more power cell. Wait, that was it. That was it right there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so... Record time. Blue rings. Scout flies. And return to the geologist. Okay, so... Yeah, I should be able to actually move on to the next area without needing to actually do anything else. I don't need to do the swamp. Don't need to do the underground city. I mean, I'm gonna. But I find it funny that if you completely complete the first world... Um... You can get through this second part with just this zoomer course and some precursor orb purchases. It's kind of funny. Still need that last scout fly though. Don't know where that is. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for a, a bizarre moving red box. Well, never mind. I was like, what if it's back here behind the thing with the ring? And the answer is yes. Hurry, there's the next ring. All right, let's do the ring challenge now. Woo! Just gotta ramp off that one rock really, really hard. Huh, you go all the way to the start of the area, that's an interesting turn of events. Alright. Nice and easy to see blue ring. Okay. Ooh, bit of a difficult one, but I can hit it with my head. 
Oh, it's way over there. Way over there. Okay. It's not getting too hard yet. Okay, that one's easy to see. This one's around the bend. Okay. None of these are, are like, impossible to keep track of yet. This one's... Here. Okay, up here now. I have to make that turn too tight. I want to fly off and instantly lose. Okay. Okay, we're going up here. Okay. And off here. Please be the last one. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, those are starting to get tight. Alrighty. Alrighty, I can respect it. I don't have to like it, but I can certainly respect it. 45. Um, and that's just the best time needed next. Alright, so... Let's go beat this racetrack. Should be right through here. round only because I'm missing so much of uh, the blue stuff. Weird. wonder how you're supposed to do that. Hmm. Might not be that tight though. I mean, this is like the last corridor, I believe. Okay, for how many times I messed up, that wasn't bad. So I'll meet you when I blaze through it. I'm doing that thing that people do in racing games where they press the A button harder to accelerate faster, but it doesn't actually do anything. Alright, right, so I'm gonna go back real quick and meet up with the two NPCs that owe me stuff for doing so good. Thank you for saving those moles, that's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. There's yet another cell in the bag. Sure, dude. Sure. Go for it. You do you. Enjoy it. And then I'm gonna just buy it. Whoa, yeah! These drums will help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell I promised. There we go! So I can't- I don't have enough orbs to buy the two power cells out of the statue immediately, but we have 48 and... We have not boggy swap. Cursor Basin, all the way done. Just all the way done. So that is all for this time, peoples of the world. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.